Hi Scorpio, it's L here to do your 72 hour energy reading. This will cover love and romance and career and finance. So I want to say thank you to all who support the channel. Um, thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscriptions. It means a lot. All links are below of how to reach me, okay? So let's get into it. So love and romance at the bottom of the deck, we have a five of pentacles. Five of Earth here. Uh, this is a situation where it's lack of confidence and forward movement. There's so much change that maybe has happened in a a marriage or some long-standing union that now someone is at a place of fearing that this can move forward. Someone is saying that this is just too much that's happened or transpired. They just don't have the energy to, to move it forward and they don't have the know-how. They're resting and dwelling in the change and the shift and the, the, the wind changing, the tides changing with the relationship and not trying to move it forward. Let's see what this is about. The Hermit. Maybe someone's spending a lot of time alone. Uh, you may be separated from a king of fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. They may have tried to offer you let's get this relationship started can you please forgive me will you take to this offer can we fall in love again can we start again can i take you out can let's go to this engagement uh they want you to forgive the past the ten of fire with the messenger of water they want you to they want they want to tell you hey i'm willing to to give you my cup, will you exchange your cup of emotion with me? Will you invest emotionally with me again? I'm hearing again. Maybe that's why you don't have any confidence in this because you've already been here. Life experience says the hermit. You know what to do. You may be looking for answers outside of yourself, but the hermit card says you know exactly what the answer is or what to do by way of experience you've been here before either with this person um, or with another person you, you've seen this before this is a man this is the committed man maybe with children also uh, but this is a man after his own heart his own heart's desire look at the 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 heart in the card that stands out to you to anyone looking at the card this is a person who says, I want, so I'll have. This, the affirmation of the King of Wands is, uh, I want, or, or I desire. This is a very passionate person. Wants and desires can get you in trouble if your heart and your mind are not aligned to doing what's right or what could be deemed as correct for everyone involved. If this man still has a heart issue where he is after only what it is he wants in a in a particular union maybe even a marriage or a relationship then uh there'll always be conflict there'll always be a butting of heads there'll always be this person looking out for this person not saying that they don't love you they don't care about you but this will always be this person looking out for this person this could be you uh, Scorpio maybe someone is maybe you're asking for forgiveness you want some to you want someone to forgive the past or you, yeah you want them to forgive the past transgression move forward with you you lay down the burden someone's also telling you that this relationship is very burdensome you go after your heart's desire I do all the work 
I make sure things still get done. I'm carrying everything. I'm carrying all the weight. Let's see what this is about lack. Wow. Lack comes up as the first shell. And we talked about that with the five of pentacles. Someone's just like lack of confidence in this moving forward. I just spiritual. The hermit is about spiritual and spiritual uh, experience or spiritual awareness by physical experience. You know what to do here. You're looking for answers outside yourself. Um, money. Maybe someone did something they weren't supposed to do with the family money. Or there needs to be more money in the dynamic. We do have the five of pentacles here. Maybe your energy, your mindset. Maybe you're bringing in all the money. Jealousy. Maybe you're jealous. Or someone's jealous of you. Or you could be jealous of your partner. Or they're jealous of you. Because, like I said, there's someone here who does exactly what they want to do. Uh, and they don't take really into account um, what's good for the whole, for the entirety. Closure is the last shell. Some of you, you're already separated from this person. They're asking for your hand back. Some of you are still in this situation and you want the tide to turn. You want to put something to bed in regards to closure. You want to close out the situation um, by way of resolving it. You want to lay down some of the burdens. You want to tell someone how you feel. You've been holding on to how you feel. You've been holding on to your desires and just keeping everything afloat. You want that cycle to close. Closure to tens are about endings. Some of you are saying, no, we're not getting back together. I don't have any confidence in it actually working out. It was too burdensome. I did everything. I carried the weight of the relationship. No, we need closure. You need to go your own way. I'll go my own way. The advice of the cards. Uh, of the angel answer card is let go yeah some of you need to let go exactly how you feel to your partner some of you need to tell the person or this could be you Scorpio you need to let go stop trying to push it forward it's not happening someone doesn't even have confidence in it ever shifting outside of the five of pentacles it's just never going to get any better that's what someone is saying um, bottom of the deck also if you believe if you believe that is not going to get any better then it won't get any better for some of you who are still in relationship in partnership for some of you who are far removed um if you do want to give this person a second try only you would know that you are the hermit it says you're looking for answers outside of yourself but the answer is within you it would you can have whatever you believe in this dynamic okay all right so Career and finance. Let's jump into that. The bottom of the deck, you have the six of air, which is very, very good. Uh, more positive, um, uplifting times. Uh, things are looking up. You may even take a trip. Things are ending. A difficult situation, maybe in your finances, uh, in, in your career, is ending for you. Okay, so that's always good. Eight of water. Maybe you decided to walk away from something that... Uh, wasn't serving you something that you felt like you needed more fulfillment more enjoyment in what it is you do what it is you wanted to merge your life with you want a merger in in regards to career and what you love to do so maybe you you you're shifting your your focus in your business and your career and you're saying how can I bring more of what I like what I love what I'm passionate about uh, you're on a, on a search, on a journey, on a quest to marry the two, to either walk away from, walk back to, or just in search of a more meaningful approach to career and finance. Um, right, night of fire. It might be opportunity for you to go ahead and marry the two, right? What you're passionate about. Um, there may be an, uh, an event that comes about. It's going to need your attention. Think things through carefully. But you're going to have to know that time is of the essence. Move fast. Move quick. There might be an opening, a door opening to where you can uh, shift your focus into in regards to what it is you love. Wow. Ten of Earth. 
maybe there'll be some long-term goal fulfillment here i never thought i could get here but i am here i never thought i'd get to the culmination of i never thought i have the reputation for my business or for myself as i am having now i never thought i would get the influx and the overflow of um of money of of, of patronage of my business um i'm finding financial security in this finally this is very good. This is what some of you are saying. Five of earth, a five of fire. So there might be some competing goals. You might need to scale back, scale down. What is it you really want to relay? What it is? What is it you really want to say? Um, in competition, have you really studied your competition? How can you get a leg up over? Um, it might be that you you do have to come into conflict with others conflict doesn't have to be outright a brawl but conflict can be <clears throat> we, we want the same thing may the best woman may the best man win that's still the you know it's more of a classier approach to something it's almost as if you're trying to find an edge to yourself in regards to this newfound recognition or how to maintain it. Like, okay, how can I keep this going? Okay, let's see what the shells say. Friends, maybe you're in competition with friends or friends can help you. Love. All right, like I said, you want to marry what you love doing. Um and your career uh, ring maybe you feel as if you have been in a in a cyclical a cycle a cycle where you just round about the eights talk about you know cycles going in the circle maybe you feel like you need to get out of that ring I need to get out of the ring of um, smart you want to make a smart decision or a smart move because the night of fire talks about needing to make um, a sudden move time is of the essence here with the night of fire okay help there is some help here for you we do see that maybe with friends we do see that there are people around uh, opposing idea scale back scale down be realistic wow and then thoughts as i say that what you're thinking about how to shift the energy how to maintain a level of this notoriety what your thoughts are they may be competing so it's about writing it down and seeing where the pros and the cons lay even maybe running it over with friends someone you trust seeking and finding is your advice card here what you're looking for is looking for you you're on a quest a journey eight of water to find something more meaningful more spiritual uh you you want to love what you're doing you don't just want to do it you want to be able to be passionate about it keep on going keep on staying on that journey what you're seeking is seeking what you're seeking is looking for you also this is a very good reading Scorpio, um, some of you need to reduce burden here in a particular relationship. Some of you are saying, no, I don't want the relationship back. Uh, or you're questioning if you do. Uh, and that's only, you know, relative to um, your situation as much as you know. Excuse me. That's relative to your situation because only you know. You know, I don't I don't know if you should take this person back. Get a personal reading. I don't know if you should continue doing all the work in a particular relationship. Maybe if you're happy doing it, continue. Uh, career finance. You got the finances card. So finance could be what you're trying to maintain you you've reached some level some goal here but it's about maintaining an opposition here and you're trying to have a leg up or a a, 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 a catch or a catchphrase or or uh, a niche 
or something of that nature. This is where you're trying to carve out that niche so you can continue the success here. Some of you might be on TV or something of that nature. Okay. Um, you're trying to see how you can maintain. All right. So Scorpio, all links are below. Get a personal reading if you feel like it. Take advantage of the 30 minute phone reading. They are on sale. Take advantage of the 72 hour energy reading where I pull cards for you in regards to love and romance, career and finance. You do not ask questions. I just pull cards, send you the reading. Um, thank you, Scorpio. All right. Many blessings and prayers going out to you. Bye for now.